there's enough weak people in the world. I'm tired of people walking around complaining about there's not enough time. I don't like how I feel about myself. I don't like how she's treating me. What the hell are you about to do about it? We have this idea that something's is going to happen just through prayer, law of attraction and manifestation when we forget the part where we have to work. We have to work. These things don't work unless we do. Your dreams don't work unless you do. And everybody wants to be at the destination. Nobody wants to go along for the ride. They don't want to go through the turbulence. They don't want to go through the rocky roads. But that's ultimately what's going to take you to the destination. There's no such thing as an easy life. You may think life is easy looking on the outside into somebody else's, but you never know what that person's going through. And I don't even want to think that life is hard. Life is what it is. It is what it is. Isis, you know, the Egyptian goddess. It is what it is, what it is. It dep it, people really don't really care about what you go through. They care about how you overcome it. So you venting, you complaining, you tweeting, you may get engagement, you may get likes, you may get people responding to you, but who's actually doing something that empowers you? What are they doing to empower you? And I get that we have a lot of stuff on our chest that we have to unpack and express, but there's more to it than just expression. It's the doing, it's the act that we have to engage ourselves in. So say if you're like, say if you're a weak person and nothing's wrong with prayer, nothing's wrong with, you know, any other spiritual practice, but it doesn't just stop at prayer. We have to get in the field and start doing the work. You have to start making those videos every day. You have to start working out every day. You have to do those extra push-ups in the morning. You have to get in the shower while it's freezing cold just so you could be alert and conquer the world. We have a we have an issue with being so comfortable all the time. We have a comfortable and casual curse. The curse is being comfortable and casual. Not that you have to suffer, not that you have to be over the top at all times, but we were sent on this life to experience, not just be one thing. This experience that we go through, whether it be positive, negative, it's all there to form us, form a shield to make us stronger. And it's these hits that make us grow. Nobody grows being comfortable. Nobody grows doing the same things they do all the time. You grow by branching out. You grow by putting yourself in the fire and healing your own wounds. A lot of the stuff that's out there on media, video, it's there to put you in a box to make you feel smaller than what you really are it's also there to bring you out of what's real bring you out of reality and place you in a box you're so-and-so you belong to this political party you belong to this race you belong to this sexual orientation you belong to this tax bracket all of these are just boxes to keep us from fully connected with one another, even fully connecting with those of us in our box. We have interior conflicts among races, among political parties. We have the right, the far right, we have the left, we have the far left, we have the moderate left, we have the moderate Republican. All of these are just labels given to us from above to keep us in a realm of separation. Separation is the real illusion. So, in order to become strong, you must find 
a tribe. You must find the right environment for you. I'm not saying all of us have to mix cultures and I don't think we should at all. We all have to have a foundation and this foundation begins with our identity. People are having an identity crisis and we can never be together when you don't even know who you are. You can't accept anybody else until you accept yourself. This is a dog eat dog world. This is survival of the fittest. But this has been, a sh I'm gonna keep this video on the shorter side, but y'all be focused, man. We have to go through the uncomfort to grow. You can't envy the strong person because they throw themselves in the fire. You could throw yourselves in the fire too. Don't be scared to take pain. Don't be scared to get burnt. The fire becomes on you and then you could spread it out like wildfire. You have the flame too. You just have to waken it inside of you. This has been More Studios. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, you guys be well. One.